Vacation in the Moon Kingdom, and I've got the perfect outfit for it. Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. Running a bit behind today, hopefully I can get this video up at the usual time, but we'll see how smoothly things go, but anyway. <laughs> Oh yeah! Oh, there's a two up. Th oh yeah, I guess. Oh, oh, but the first thing that I wanted to do actually, before I get all uh, all too excited here, is go up to the back of this place here because see, see, there's a flag over there. I never hit that flag somehow, some way, and now I'm gonna hit that flag. But also. Well, there's moon shards up here, but also, the solution, I think, to that one f I keep throwing my hat again, to that one uh, ultra-high-up moon, I think is to grab a frog and tow it all the way over to that spot. So I'm gonna do so, if you don't mind, just as long as I have it in mind, because, well... Well, it's gonna take me a little bit to get there, so let's just go ahead and just get her over with, and then I can use the warp to warp wherever I want to now, well, at least a little bit quicker. And maybe that warp wasn't there before, because I thought I did do a full 360 around the building. Hmm. Hmm. Because remember I had to go around to get the frog to get up to the bell and stuff like that? Yeah, anyway, that moon is way up on that spire at the far left of the screen. Barely just on the screen now, but now it's off the screen. But anyway, <laughs> you just gotta make the jumps to make the moon. At least I think this is how we make the moon, because I don't know of any other thing that can jump high enough to get this moon on the moon. You know, this could... There'll be double meanings to all the stuff that I'm talking about moon-wise. Oh yeah, this is gonna be it. Uh, how did I miss that jump? Don't tell me, I've gotta go... Uh, you know, you see some little boxes over there. I wonder if those are actually breakable. But anyway... Here we go, the hardest jump in the world, apparently, is right here for a frog. I don't know, I think I just jumped too early and I tried to readjust myself and... Wait, hold on, can I actually just grab it and... Well, no, I can't that way, but anyway. Ready? Ready? Backflip jump for style! Jumping high as a frog and making the screen flash all over the place. Alright, so that is indeed... Oh, you get that one, as per its name. Now, I guess I'll start over on this side. Because there's that number two, and we've got to see what is inside the Piper, if possible. Nah, it's way too high to do that, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, so let's just go around, do it the regular way. Flower it up, oop, mists. Flower it up. And here we are. Talking to is up here if you want some hints, I guess. Alright, 8 bit time. Hmm? 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 Eh. Oh. No, I say. That is all. <laughs> Alright, so let's just take a peek in here and see if I can actually see where the secondary moon is. Okay, there's one way up in the Gravitron, and then there's one way up down below. Alright. Oh, I managed to pull it off for once! <laughs> Let's go ahead and... Ooh, 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 ooh. More than one coin. Let's go ahead and wander our way through the gravity. As you can see, the gravity is kind of, yeah, just kind of your way around here as you see fit. It's not like that one over at the Moon Kingdom behind... Yeah, wait, wait, no, wait, it wasn't the Moon Kingdom, it was at the Mushroom Kingdom. Whereas that if you jump outside the boundaries, you automatically get pooped out as regular Mario, and then you automatically die as a result of that. No, no. Oh, by the way, <laughs> this is lava over here, yes. Little lava curving around 
the outside borders. And you also hear little elevator dings when you reach your destination. So I guess these little moons, or planetary dealios, are actually secretly elevators, so we can do our music all day. Okay, we're done, actually. <laughs> so, for this one, I'm pretty sure I want to get a Koopa going around the perimeter. Yeah, just for extra fanciness. And then we grab that moon thusly in the center of the galaxy, and then we leave. Because that's not what we want to do, you said. <laughs> Actually, I think I should have done the other moon first, because the other moon is like the secret moon, I think. And yeah. Oh. 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 All right, the Gravitron. Oh. 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 Okay. <laughs> Edge of the galaxy. Yeah. Yeah. And I actually should probably just go... Oh, that's actually moving a lot faster than I thought it was. <laughs> and there we go. All right. So now that we're done here, the Koopa has respawned in its proper place. So we don't have to worry about getting Koopa shelled. Oh, 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 oh. I was pressing down, but I should have been pressing right. Of course. Of course I should have. <laughs> Uh, oh, what was I thinking? <laughs> nah, it's just gravity playing its toll on the mind. Starbits! The only partial Starbits. Alright, so there's an X over there. I'm betting that's the 8-bit area. Probably. I'm throwing my hat again. <laughs> Getting back into that habit. Uh, I just want to peek. Yeah, there's a little note up top now. Oh, whoa, 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 actually, too soon, too soon to jump down there. Go here. Not on top of those little moon ledges. Little moon ledges are unnecessarily risky at this point. <laughs> actually, there wasn't any reason to go on those little tiny moon ledges, if you think about it. Because there's just nothing really there. <laughs> Time. Your movements. To the gravity and the fuzzies. Alright, here we go. Ooh, that does not look friendly. Okay, I'll take a hit. Just for the sake- Wow, that- he took a hit late there! As I say, yeah, just take a hit on the way down, because things just aren't timed all that well. Take a hit there to save time, there we go. And... Wonderful! Taking notes in low gravity. Take a picture of that, Professor Oak. And... Woo! We're out of here. Where's our next destination? Oh, all the way up on that ridge. I could make the long jump to this. I probably can make that jump. Low gravity and all. <laughs> Alright, so... Stop throwing your hat, PK Gam. It is unnecessary. You're supposed to do something like that for your speed movement speed movements. Starbits! Oh, I didn't get it. But anyway. <laughs> and ooh. This does not look friendly. Okay, it's pretty friendly. <laughs> we got the low gravity going on here to have a good time with. We can have high jumps in the middle of transition of the turnus. And also avoid the bullets of Shell Doom. Woo! I suppose. You don't really have to if you don't want to. I'm just giving you a suggestion. Um, actually, where is the secret moon here? Is it? Oh, maybe it's... Maybe that's the regular moon up over that side and then the secret... Okay, it's way up there. Alright, so I gotta get the secret on my way to the victory. Then, hopefully. Oh, that's actually gonna be a little bit tighter. Actually, it's not that tight. We've been on these things before on regular gravity. <laughs> and as you can see, this one's gonna attempt to push you off the ledge. Don't fall for it. Actually, I wanna see if there's anything up on top of all these rings, I guess, but... I don't know if those are really worth getting, you know? <laughs> At least not when we're in our mojo. This is how you would get on top of them normally, as you do... Like you do some fancy jumps up. Well, actually, maybe not that one. Uh, we'd have to get. Oh, I'd have to jump up off of my Octo friend, I think. 
at least on this one. Come on, shoot. There you go. Good boy. And... Boink. And... Boink. I'm not going to do... What was I say? I'm not going to until I'm sure I'm going to land on you. Well, I... Oh, you don't hurt me at all across the platform. <laughs> That's good to know. Oh, I see how you're supposed to do it, actually. You're not... At least I'm not doing it right. Whoops. Well, ooh, can I can I preserve my momentum here? Oh, well, oh shoot! I hit. Well, now I can't. I was gonna say, <laughs> can I get up there using the low gravity? But I see how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to use the little edge of the platform. Yeah, yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and speed run this this time. <laughs> now that we semi know what we're doing here, yeah. That. When I'm going along it on these sides, you can see it. there's those little side ledges on... Um, yeah, but you can't really jump on them. Or at least you wouldn't want to jump on them at their low points there because, well, they're just kind of kind of awkward to get to. But <laughs> this one, however, I probably... Well, mm, actually, that's going to be a little, little on the tricky side to get that lined up. Or get... Because I need to, like, land on the ledge... And also walk my way around the side. Oh, or maybe what? Wait, actually no. Maybe I don't have to do that. Maybe I can do it like this. Oh, okay, that's how you do it. <laughs> Ooh, that's definitely how you do it. <laughs> I was making a mountain out of a molehill as usual. A sling on top of a sling. So I guess that's a pretty easy way to get those coin rings up there, then, huh? So you know what? You know what? For the sake of the sakes, let's just get the cold, cold rings here, just because we can. And now that we know how to do it with relative ease, now, I think I actually did try and get on the ledge on my first run through here. That's why I thought I needed to do that before, but no. But no, that's not how it's done with ease. You ride it. You go with the flow. You show how to... Oh, shoot! Oh, I couldn't even... It wouldn't even let me hat jump to recover. Yeah, I didn't time myself well with the gravity and everything there. Alright. Regular moon. Let's go. Woo! <laughs> and yeah, I'm just... I probably should, could just skip a whole lot of this, really. With the powers of the gravity, but... Mmm, I'm not sure I trust myself anymore with my timing. <laughs> Actually, I probably should go and jump at stuff way ahead of time. Yeah, that's probably the better way to go. I could skip that. There we go. Don't over jump. Actually, overshoot the jump. And... Alright, so this is taking me a strangely long time, despite it being... Just basic platforming and, and low gravity. It's the low gravity that gets you, man. Uh, so we're gonna go... Just kind of jump for something that isn't there. As we are making our vertical jumps through the air. Yeah! Like a pro! Navigating giant swings. Finally! <laughs> Maybe I underestimated that one because of it just looked like regular platform, but the gravity really does throw you off. Alright, oh, does Cooper free running down there? Oh wait, no, wait, no, actually no, that's walking. Cooper free running is over by the the uh I already did that rabbit before by the way. It's over by the uh uh wedding hall. <clears throat> oh and I said like church and chapel before the wedding hall, but they really are not one in the same, so... I mean, they can be... Ow. I'm probably gonna have to restart this, aren't I? But yeah, I, I should probably focus on calling it the wedding hall to be, well, more accurate in general. <laughs> Alright, here we go, here we go. A lot better on the timing. I could even wall kick off of the freshly made blocks there. And grab that moon. We're actually running out of moons pretty fast here. <laughs> Wedding hall. Back corner. Oh, I think I know what this one is. 
Oh, I gotta get those shards, but that's that's a different one. But there is one back here that is basically like a bird, but it's not a bird. There it is. You see it? It's a little tiny UFO. Or maybe it's a UFO. And it's just hanging out over here. <laughs> I'm feeling nauseous again. I'm scared to make it yeah, make it fly away. See, it's got little flowers in there and everything like that. See, see that? Yeah, it must be from... Like, a, a spawn of the boss. At the Wooded Kingdom, but anyway, here I think this is a good range to throw our hat. Oh no, no, no! Okay, we're good. We're good. Mm -hmm. ooh, ooh. Yeah. Okay, it's those ones that fly around before you can get to them that are the scariest, mysterious flying object. So the moon shards that are around this wedding hall, not a chapel or a. Church are hanging out around all around this place. I don't believe I got these suckers before, so we're gonna get these suckers now. We're just gonna hop around, get caught on. What? What am I getting caught on over there? That was flat roof. <laughs> just jump around, low gravity angling and stuff like that, being all fancy. I guess I can go down here and grab this one right away. What the heck? I'm gonna have to grab it anyway later. As long as I'm doing my 360 around the building. And number four. I I hear you, Peach. I hear you. You are up here. I know, I know. It's I'm getting there. <laughs> and the last one. Up by the star bits. Well nearby to the star bits. Oh, something does appear down there. Yes! I was right that something pops out down here later. But not at the time that I flopped down there before. Moon shards on the moon! So my memory is decent, but not photographic. <laughs> and somehow Peach can tell this is Mario. Perhaps the hat and the mustache gives it away. Can I talk as a frog? Just... Nah, I guess I can't. Alas. Alas. Alright, now I can A button it up. How beautiful, our entire world, right there in front of us. I wonder where Bonneton is. It must look so small from here. Note. Oh, and this moon power moon came flying in from outer space. Would you like it? Yeah, sure, why not? I'm, I'm maybe collecting them. Peach in the Moon Kingdom! Of course. I've been away for quite a while. I should head back before anyone starts to worry. Yep, she's going back. Over to the Mushroom Kingdom, and I'm pretty sure they already started to worry. <laughs> Alright, I guess I should... Um, I was going to say I should hint toad it out, but I, I mean, I know there's Koopa free running to do, but... But... But, well, no, no, maybe I could pull off the Koopa free running. But I just like to do both of them at once, just because I'm in the area. And yeah, that that really was the closest warp. <laughs> oh, you actually know that's not the Koopa. F oh, that's right, it's the Koopa walking. Excuse me. Ah, ah. Ooh. Well, I know where the Koopa free running is on the other side, so I'll start that on the next part. You know what? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do it that one. <laughs> I, I got mixed up in my own mind again, like I did earlier. Hey dude, you up for a challenge? Everyone loves walking, right? Problem is, most don't take it seriously. It's a sure, blah, 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 blah. Sounds fun indeed. And we got a big ol' low gravity circle. But yeah, I, I mentioned the correct locations of the Koopa free running before. But no, no, no I got them mixed up again somehow. I don't know. <laughs> Alright, 80 points. Let's -a go. We gotta use all the landmarks we can get here. Oh uh, boy. Oh, I think I'm too tight here. Well, they're gonna see. Oh, that's too wide. Oh no. I probably did not get 80 for that one. 68, yeah. <laughs> I did very poor landmarking skills there. I was looking back at all sorts of locations and. Alright, so I, yeah, I gotta go right along the edge. No, I was right about where I started the landmark, but I went way too wide after that point. Alright, let's go. Probably, I wonder if you could do it like just by holding forward and then controlling the camera. <laughs> That's probably way too simple. 
Uh, that might be too tight again. Well, at least I thought. Oh, wow, that's actually... So it's not a like a total circle. That's even worse. <laughs> it's like a... It's like a straight line from that crater over to the starting point. Okay. Interest. I mean, it looks like a circle, but when it comes out, it's more like a, s a straight line somehow. Doesn't it look like that? Yeah, anyway. Okay, so we go like from here, and we go meow. It must be like a stretched out circle or something like that. Uh, oh, wait, no, 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 I'm... Oh, shoot, I'm, I was looking... I am looking at the... Oh. I'm being stupid, I'm looking at the wrong line. Oh, jeez. Ah, what am I doing here? Oh, <laughs> jeez. Uh, Maybe I'm in too much of a hurry, because I know I'm behind in time here. <laughs> Alright, so focus on the circle. The circle. The circle. Circle. And that was still too tight. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. This may be the hardest Koopa free running yet. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah, this first part's relatively easy, just as long as I don't get too out of the way, I guess. But yeah, I'm gonna go extra wide here. Because it doesn't feel like I'm going that wide. Okay, that's much more accurate. 80 points more, 85, all right. But is there a secondary moon to this? Walking on the moon! We're gonna have to find out here. We're back in the sec order, new prize, oh no. <laughs> all right, 90 points. Okay, but I, I should, in theory, have this in the bag now, right? Right, hopefully. Oh, this is actually working. Oh, I, I think I turned the camera at just the right angle. Well, for the most part. <laughs> Let's see, we got, we got 92, okay. Yeah, I think it is actually a bit easier to just hold forward and turn the camera with your body. Hmm. So I started out flubbing all over the place, but I finished strong. <laughs> And with that, I'm going to end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I do not go for a higher score, because that was, well, that was kind of a pain. <laughs> no, it actually wasn't that bad.